Hey fam, welcome back to Steamspirations. Are you ready for something absolutely mind-blowing? Today we're plunging into data types in computer science. Now don't click away. This is one of the most insane and underrated topics ever. If data types were a superhero, they'd be the mysterious one with a mask doing all the heavy lifting while others get the spotlight. Strap in, because we're about to get nerdy. So you're probably wondering, what on earth are data types? Imagine you're an architect and you've got different building materials, bricks, steel, glass, and more. Each material has its own purpose, right? Data types are the building blocks that give structure to the digital universe. It's like having different types of Lego blocks. You've got your standard ones, your slanted ones, and those weird round ones that you never know what to do with. Just like Legos, not all data types play nicely together. So why are data types essential? Think about your computer as a chef. Just as a chef wouldn't toss a watermelon into a soup, your computer needs to know what it's working with. It plays with zeros and ones all day long, which represent everything from your grandma's birthday to the high score you just set in your favorite video game. If your computer mixes up the data types, that's like asking a chef to prepare a meal blindfolded while using his feet. Utter pandemonium. Data types are the containers for life. Picture your lunchbox. Remember how your mom used to pack it? The sandwich would never be touching the yogurt. That would be a disaster. It's the same with data types. These types tell the computer which compartment to put the data into. Int for integers. STR for strings. Flow for decimal numbers. And bool for booleans. It's like sorting your Halloween candy. You wouldn't throw your Milky Ways and Skittles into the same bowl, would you? Integers int. These are the backbone of the programming world. Imagine you're tracking your steps with a fitness app. It wouldn't make sense to say you walked 9.999 steps today, right? Integers are your go-to when whole numbers are the game. Floating point numbers, float. These are the artisans of the data type world. Think of a float as the caviar of the computing universe. It's used for those ultra specific tasks that demand precision, like when you're tweaking the temperature of your gaming rig by tiny fractions. Strings, STR. Imagine you're composing a tweet, a blog, or even coding your website. Strings are what allow you to play with text and bring color to the otherwise gray world of coding. These are the artists of the data type community, adding flair and personality. Booleans, bool. These are the decision makers, the umpires calling the shots. Whenever you toggle something on or off, or when a game decides if you've won or lost, that's booleans for you. They work in binary. It's either this or that. No middle ground. So now let's jump into looking at some practical code examples. In this line of code, we're using integers to count the number of episodes in your Netflix binge. For this line, we're using floats to represent a high score in a game. Now in this line of code, we're storing a username as a string. For this line, we're using booleans to check if you're online. Why should you care? Picture this, you're assembling a puzzle without knowing what pieces fit where. You'd probably throw the puzzle across the room in frustration. The same goes for programming. Understanding data types is crucial for preventing digital chaos. Phew, that was an intense rundown. But guess what? We've barely scratched the surface. If you want to see these data types in action, like mixing them up like a math scientist, let me know in the comments. So that's all we've got for today. Go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you'll be the first to know when the next Steamspirations masterpiece drops. Keep those neurons firing and those fingers coding. Until next time, see you later.